It's so exciting for me to be here. We've only been here uh, a few days. But when Bill and Melinda decided to build this campus, I think it reflected their deep commitment to our local work uh, and their deep history here. Uh, the Gates family goes back many generations, and they've led many, many civic endeavors. What excites me the most about this campus is really the, the reflection of our local roots, um, the ability to have the best environment for our people to do our work. Uh, we share a common wi a mission uh, towards the ultimate goal of making sure that everyone has a healthy and productive life. And it's, again, designed with a long-term view in mind. We designed and built this campus to last 100 years. And that's compared to most buildings that are designed for a 20 to 30 year lifespan. We were very conscious of a commitment to sustainability. And so we're proud of our LEED Gold rating. You'll see some examples of that. For example, our living roofs, our million plus gallon, gallon water storage facility. And we've had a lot of rain to fill it up. So um, it's been used to water our plants uh, in our toilets. Uh, and to fill up our water features. Right, yep. <clears throat> our open workspace is here, designed to give lots of face-to-face -face conversations, a lot of collaboration, a lot of partnership. You'll see our offices with glass doors, again, to allow people to see in, people to see their teams, a lot of light coming in. And this is um, a fairly typical workspace. Um, so in addition to the offices, there are what we call focus rooms. So unscheduled rooms where you can grab your colleague, uh, chat, solve a problem. We've got whiteboards all over that you'll see where you can kind of brainstorm some ideas or jot down some ideas. So those are, this is a fairly typical uh, workspace. See the pedestals that represent our local roots um, supporting every one of the buildings where you see the arms reaching out. So again, emblematic of our local roots and our global mission. Um, examples of our sustainability with our living roof there. And um, if you turn around, you can see the heart of our campus there. Um, that million gallon water storage tank is right under there. And you can also get a sense of the atrium. It's kind of our living room. Uh, we'll have all foundation meetings here. Uh, it's a place where people can grab lunch, uh, come have lunch with a colleague, grab a cup of coffee. And it's been really exciting to see people just collaborate, kind of informally, grab some time, quiet space. Um, it's a great view. Hopefully we'll have a summer and uh, we'll be able to actually use the outdoor spaces. We've got lots of tables and chairs, again, kind of expanding our collaboration space. If you look right behind you, it's really exciting to see this growing global health cluster. You can see the University of Washington Medical um, Health Center. You can see some of our grantees, including PATH and Seattle Biomed. And so it's so exciting to be right in the center of a vibrant neighborhood. And of course, we've got the Space Needle um, right across the street. Along this, uh, this atrium uh, balcony, you'll see additional quiet spaces, kind of long library tables where people can read or use their work ringing the atrium. Just another example of the different kinds of spaces to support our work lots and lots of light. We've taken on some um, extremely big and challenging goals. Eradicating polio, making sure that every teacher in America is effective, helping transition millions of African smallholder farmers out of poverty. And so we wanted this building and this campus to be emblematic and to reflect those bold goals and the optimism that we have in our work. And I think it does that.